So tonight we, we are seeing here at Tate the first in a series of commissions, which are commissions um, for BMW Tate Live Performance Room, yeah. where we invited dancers and performers to perform for the box of the yeah. camera, for the box of the computer. Yeah. And we invited many different performers. I mean, Jerome Bell is the first one. Yeah. We have, of course, John Jonas, who is the performance pioneer. We have Paolo Gronstein. We have many different people because we think that performance is the medium of the 21st century. And especially dance is now looking for other spaces. Yeah, that was kind of my question. Yeah. Also, dance so is coming to the museum because I think yeah. dance is one of the most abstract languages. Yeah. And yeah. dance is something which also the visual arts public is, is ready to understand. Yeah. Not just since a couple of years, but I think since the middle of the 19th century already. So many visual artists have been fascinated by dance. There were all these collaboration ships. And we thought it's very important to do something else with performance yeah. because Tate has 7 million visitors a year, but we have many more millions yeah. who are out there. And we are going to create a fifth site, which is this site, and we're going to create that site in order to reach audiences which yeah. are maybe Mexico, which are, yeah. you know, in Ahmedabad. And um, when I'm saying Ahmedabad, I'm also talking about other spaces which are very important spaces for the history of dance, for the history of performance. Yeah, yeah one of the things that is interesting also is that the selection of the artists that are very uh, conceptual in a way, or yeah, kind of navigating. They are navigating. That is but not that traditional, what we it's understand. It's not that traditional, uh, because yeah. these artists can, and we hear now in the background, we hear Jerome Bell. Yeah, I mean, these there. are artists who I think... Uh, they are raised with computers, yeah. but they are also raised with mobile phones. Are they have predicted mobile phones and computers? Because John Jonas was one of the first to, to have this abstract language. It's not just about information. It's not just about being out there. You know, via this new media. It's also a dedicated space because we say this is your space. This is a new form of a black box. This is a new form of a white box. This is a new form of a dance stage. And use that dance stage, use that performance space. And I'm sure 